Hey guys, today I want to show you how to uh, run something like this. This is the scene is quite heavy. It's ray tracing based. Everything is uh, processing by ray tracing and no DLSS, so it's quite heavy. It can't be run on HTML, and uh, we want to make it run on a web browser. Uh, basically, the method that we're gonna use is called pixel streaming. It's based on WebRTC. It's like processing a video on the uh, browser. So. Uh, yeah, and if you have done it before and you've uh, encountered some uh, errors like please wait or some C++ errors inside the web browser, this video is for you as well because, you know, <clears throat> WebRTC in uh, older Unreal Engine 4s were kind of old, so uh, the new browsers like Chrome, Firefox, the new versions of those browsers have updated the uh, the the edition the version of the web rtc so you need to use the uh, the newest version of unreal engine which is at the moment 4.27 uh right now it's working perfectly fine and let me show you how it's done so first off go to the plugins you need to have activated the pixel streaming this is here just enable it restart the editor and then after that go to the editor preferences uh on the level editor play this is uh in the additional launch parameters you need to add something this is my local ip address this is what uh, i'm going to run my game on that address but uh you can get this code inside here there's a complete documentation actually it's not quite accurate but uh if you follow my video you can get comp get it completely done but uh, under the section 9 this is the code that you want to use but instead of local host you can use your own address IP, IP address so after you getting these two done go to the file package or project for Windows 64 bit I've already done it since it takes a little bit time um, and after that go to do uh, the folder that you've packaged your game uh, hold alt and drag it out make a shortcut out of it right click property so you need to specify the target. So the target in our case is go to the editor preferences, the code that we've added here, uh, especially this IP address is very important. And uh, hit right, hit one space and control V. Uh, this is quite important that you have to add the whole code to the target. You don't need to mix it, blend it somehow and uh, make sure to hit a space there, there there's there need to be some space in between otherwise it, you will get some errors so so far so good uh the next thing that we have to do is to go to the samples uh pixel streaming web servers signaling web servers uh platform scripts cmd and right uh, double click on setup it will take some time for you guys I, 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 I'm not really sure probably and after uh, clicking on setup you need to start the signal server in my case I'm uh, running my game on a local server uh, if you want to do something else there's a, a ton of uh, documentations out there in the uh, Epic Games website itself. So I'm going to go ahead with this one, right click, and I'm going to run it with PowerShell. It, yeah. I'm allowing it. So if you get this message, then it means that everything's working perfectly fine. And go back to the Windows editor and uh, run this shortcut that you have just made. Well, okay, uh, now the game is running on the server itself. Now what we have to do is only uh, make the local host work somehow. So we've uh, done everything that was needed. And right now the only thing that we have to do is just to go to the uh, browser and type the IP address that we have just specified. And uh, in this screen just click start play and here we go we're now um browsing the game from a client machine actually it is running on the server itself but 
what we are doing here is just we are somehow uh, uh, sending and getting some data back and forth between a uh, client and the server itself. So this is pretty, I mean, impressive. Just look at this. I mean, it is true that this is running on the local host, but I mean, think of it. Think of it as a as a huge advancement. Think think uh, about what other things that you could do. Um, actually, what I forgot to mention was that uh, don't forget to uh, install Node.js. It's like a very important prerequisite for this thing to run. And um, yeah, this is it. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit that like button. Uh, cheers.